Well, we have some briefly colder air Monday. Temperatures are actually closer to normal, still above it. And then we're back into warm days and that could play into the next storm system, which might be a Christmas rainstorm. So we had a pretty potent cold front come through overnight last night, kicked up the wind. And in its wake, we've got cold high pressure, but temperatures this morning, as chilly as they felt, we're actually still above normal. That's how ridiculously warm this December has been, uh, where we haven't had much of this kind of cold. So it's a little shock to the system. I saw a little snow in uh, northeastern Minnesota, especially flurries for the rest of us, but an inch of snow in Duluth up to an inch and a half near Hibbing. Uh, mounts were pretty light, but the, the big thing was the wind overnight, 48 miles an hour at MSP and some single digit lows in northwestern Minnesota. In fact, uh, this is through 7 a.m. It actually dropped more in Halleck to uh, two below zero once the sun came up and uh, those gusty winds blew in again, 48 miles an hour at MSP. And most of us had 35 to 45 mile per hour wind gusts. And that wind is subsiding and moving east. So the winds are going to decrease through the afternoon into the day today. So by the time we head into the evening hours, winds will be light actually. Uh, under 10 miles an hour, but that combined with the clear skies means it's going to be another pretty chilly night tonight. Temperatures will be mostly in the 20s across the state today. Some teens in the north, maybe squeezing out 30 in southwestern Minnesota, uh, and you can see the warmer temperatures off to the west. And again, despite being chilly today, feeling it's actually about where we should be. Temperatures will be near normal here, even already a few degrees above normal in western Minnesota. And uh, again, another cool night tonight. We're going to see readings drop into the single digits in northeastern Minnesota. Most of us will probably fall into the teens. So a chilly start Tuesday, but we're going to warm up here. We'll be in the uh, mid to upper 30s by the afternoon across southern Minnesota, even 40 in southwestern Minnesota, probably staying just below freezing in parts of northern and northeastern Minnesota. But then we add a few more degrees heading into Wednesday. Should see highs in the low 40s here uh, and uh, low 30s in the northern part of the state. And that's going to set us up for a string of days that are going to be well above normal again, probably 40 plus. In fact, as we skip ahead to Sunday, Christmas Eve, mid to upper 40s, some models push us towards 50. The record high on Christmas Eve is 46, and it looks like we could be above it. Now, this is the Canadian model. Uh, a previous run from Sunday night had us hitting 50 three times in a row. The morning run isn't quite as warm, but still upper 40s. Uh, you get the idea. We're talking about some very mild air that could be potentially record breaking for the holiday. And then as we head into early next week, we're looking at the potential for a big storm. All the models agree on creating a storm, but have a lot of variability in terms of is there enough cold air? Do the two waves merge together into a larger storm system? This is the European model at noon on Christmas Day. Snow in the west, rain in the east. But the American model looks a lot less organized. It's still waiting for that system to develop more. Canadian model looking pretty similar. And as far as snowfall goes, it's anybody's guess at this point. European model, pretty aggressive. Canadian model, not as much. And the American model, hardly anything. So still very early. This is a week away, but something to uh, keep an eye on here. A very early heads up that we could be dealing with a pretty uh, large storm system. Might be all rain, might be rain and snow, might be all snow. Probably not the way this December is going so far, though. Uh, if we do get significant snow, it would probably be more likely northern and western Minnesota the way it looks. But a lot can change in these days ahead. Meanwhile, it will be very mild and pretty quiet here through the week.